Stefano. It's Marlena. I want to talk to you. father to miss out on the festivities. I insist that he be here to witness your demise. Tony's a sick man. Let's stop this madness. We're all as good as dead. Excuse me, Count Lamera. What, Bob? You gotta forgive me for being a little dense here. When haven't I? It's just. Well, I heard you speaking on the phone with Stefano on several occasions. It doesn't compute. Well, I've always talked to him. But he's he's what? I'm in constant communication with him. Isn't that right, huh? Come on, Bert, you can see it. Your boss has gone crazy. Look what he did to Stefano. The only way that you're going to be able to save yourself is to turn that gun on Tony and help all the rest of us get out of here. Uh, oh, back up! Back up! Come on, Marcus! Now or never! Now or never! It's never that dead room. I, I can't betray the demerit. They, they, they gave me a home. See? That's what happens if you even think about the train. Now think about this. This is what the rest of your life is going to be like. Okay, there you go, it's all right. I got nowhere else to go. Bart, no. No deal. Damn it, Bart! You find yourself another turncoat, Jack. It ain't me. Come on, Bart. Come on! Jack! You don't look very well. Are you feeling all right? Let's go exaggerate yourself. Well, there are so many secrets around every corner here, and I have enough of them to keep you all occupied. Colin Murphy is not the only corpse I brought back from the dead. There are others out there. Even my father, he kept insisting that I do the same for him. I can't trust a word he says. Well, you can trust this one. Death is at hand. Father, and help us say goodbye to our enemies. <laughs> 